Seriously, I mean, there was pus everywhere. Oh, what? Anyways, welcome back <laughs> to War. Welcome back to War of the Monsters. I am Jordan, and this is Coke. Woo! I like the Coke. Woo! Anyways, we're going to continue where we left off from. Woo! The fight with Goliath Prime, the Creeping Chaos. Is that oh, what it's this called? Is the, yeah, the Creeping Chaos. The, this level, <laughs> I like it, but I also incredibly hate it sometimes. Now we're going to see why we hate it in a moment. Of course, the first thing is Braytopper right here. Oh, what's this? The US military actually brought a box? Release the secret weapon! Which is Metal Congor. Huh. So the Congor we just crushed somehow turned to metal by the US military. But, anyways, despite of it being a separate stage, the enemies will actually, actually team up on you. I know, which is weird because isn't the reason that they brought him out was to fight Praetor? That doesn't seem to be the case, but I think the military is. Oh god! Electric object. I need to get the health before they get it. Again? You need to take out one of them fast. That's the thing at the stage. I should just take it out Praetor first. Yeah, he has he has uh, weaker stamina. Gee, you're afraid to get up here behind. Oh god, that's an oil truck. Mm. Well, you should think about this game. You can get burned, and if you get burned, in, it's not like yeah, Pokemon, yeah, yeah. of course, but you do get hurt. If you get burned. Yeah, if you get burned, then Nicholas Gates is going to come out of nowhere and say, "How to get burned? How to get burned? How to get burned? How to get burned?" Oh no, the controller is doing the thing I hate, hate it for doing. We'll be right back. What happened? The controller is... <laughs> Anyways, we'll be right back. And we are back, sorry about that. But the controller just went to mode where I wouldn't pay attention to what I was doing. But with that, let's try to take out Praetor first. But come on the way, so... You know, ironically, we actually narrate the entire match, but it doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so... I'm using a gutter to defeat my enemies. Ooh, an oil truck. Give me that. It's super effective. Hey, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm just... I'm it's just... Uh, it's just kind of hard for me to come with commentary since I can't really see what's going on. Well, as you see right now, I'm just shooting the heck out of Praetor with the, and now I've just been impaled. And Congor is right up my butt. Good thing I jumped. Or else I'm... Oh, Jesus. This is nothing about the game you should worry about. It's, it's one of those stun attacks. You need to really be careful about that. This is why I like playing as uh, Ultra V. His long-range attack, he extends his arm as a handout. And he grabs the opponent, and then he brings them back to him, and they're stunned. In a in a shorter term, you're basically Scorpion. Yeah. And if you can come, and if you can do it when you're standing on a uh, another special attack icon, you pretty much are guaranteed to hit them with two in a row. All right, no more screwing around. It's time to fight back. Huh? They just hit each other. Unintentional. Or was it? Maybe you think. There's also another thing you should know about this game. If you time off full energy, you actually, you actually increase your attack power for a short moment of time with Fire Fist. But right now, I'm more worried about taking out Praetor than anything else right now. Which is why I'm shooting her down. Uh, Praetor is pro dodging like a pro. Sweet. Did you get her? Not yet, but she's low on health. Better stay on her. Yeah, but she just impaled me. Oh, come on! 
Let me guess, you got a health icon? No, Congor great. Congor, uh, failed me. And now I just died again. Jeez, last life. I fail here. I'll blame. I'll blame the controller. I was about to say, you blame me. <laughs> Why can't I blame you? You're not. You can't even see anything I'm doing. Exactly. So I can't give my expert advice. <laughs> oh, Congo just got like, some health. He's like, like, what the hell, Coke? You said you were the master. Why aren't you helping me? <laughs> I really want to get rid of Praetor. Wait. I just took out Praetor, so now the one I think love is Metal Congor. Which one of us is the better robot? And Congor just did a short range attack. There's something you need to know about a short range attack. Um, they're just pretty much shields. If you're taking too much damage. Pretty much, pretty much think of the uh, energy waves from the uh, Dragon Ball. Budokai Tekaichi games. Or energy fields? Yeah, like the little short range ones. Health! Health! I want, do not want Metal Congor to get it. And I do not want to waste my energy on just shooting like wildly. Here. Come on, get your butt over here, Metal Congor. Oh Jesus, don't hit me with that girder. You're not Vender now, are you? I'm Vender. Yes, I am Vender. Please insert girder. I am Vender. Please insert gir Please insert liquor. Ah, sweet, I just beat the stage. And now you're coming to the best stage in the entire game. The Aww. one where you gotta fight the two Raptrosses. As if fighting those two were... As if fighting... Praetor and Metal Conger wasn't enough. Now you gotta fight two dragons. That's what I said. The first thing you gotta do is go for the cloaking power up. Yes. But anyways, here's the control of the stage. And of course, all plays are running our port. I'm ready to see this a lot, and I'm ready to hear that a lot too. Which is why I'm ready to shoot. I know they have like some of the most annoying they're like one of the most annoying roars in the game. There is something you should probably really do in the stage. You need to grab the health powers before they do. Otherwise it'll just otherwise you're gonna have a hell of a time here. And I forgot where the cloaking power up was. I think it was that it's on uh, the yeah, yeah for the uh for the, the big airport. It's on the right side of it, right facing it. There. Now I can just grab all the oil trucks in the world and destroy them. Though no, I think their AI can still see you. And yeah, but they, they can still see you, but they just can't lock onto you. Yeah, that was a good time to grab that 100 pound health up before they do. Which does seem cheap at times, but. Trust me, you're gonna want to do this. So, yeah, then you gotta, you gotta be cheap, otherwise. Uh, and you, yeah, this you gotta be cheap, otherwise they're just going to maul you down. Also, you gotta be wearing this H2 because there are a lot of explosives. So many that is un so unfair. Like these little airplanes right here, they're they count as explosives. Part because they still have gla gas in them, which is why I want them. Well, thanks a lot for that electricity. That's twice in a row. Well, at least hit your partner. Otherwise, that would have been screwed. I would love it if you stop doing those damn explosives. Brat, let me get him out of no brat! Brat, just I do to the fire. Well, not fire, but. coming along the lines. Oh, and that's actually another thing. The uh, long range attacks of the Raptrosses, they breathe fire, and they instantly set you on fire when, <clears throat> when they do. 
There's only two ways to uh, stop being on fire. That's get a health icon or to uh, run into water. We should just run to right now or just fly to right now because they just love explosives. Oh, and the fire also slowed you down. Great, I'm on my last life, but at least one of the at least one of them is low on health. If I just defeat one of them, this stage will be easy. And they're drawing fire. Get out of here! Oh, I just defeat one of them. I just gotta be sure not to die. Yeah, unfortunately though, if you, yeah, if, you, if you do die, you have to start the stage all over. Now's a good time to be aggressive. Explosives everywhere. But then again... So, it's like, what, so what is this, an airport run by Michael Bay? <laughs> I bet Michael Bay's directing this film right now. Aw, meet you with the missile at least. Urgh. Urgh. You really do need to be aggressive here, because if you don't, then I'm... Well, if I don't, I'm screwed. I have to play this level all over again. How much health do you no, have? No, 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 don't get the health power up. Don't get the 25 health power up. You just got it, damn you. How much health do you have? I'm at decent health right now. I just want special attacks right now, though. Don't you dare go off of that roof. Don't even dare go off of that tower. Even guarding doesn't prevent... Well... That even guarding doesn't prevent explosives. But they're explosives, they shouldn't. <coughs> that health power would be really nice right now. Oh no, I'm at low health. This is gonna be a close one. But there's a... There's a wonder of energy I can get right there to get the special attack. Or, there's a special attack right there. If I can do the special attack, then I can pretty much win this. Or just be aggressive, as usual. Hey! Hey, don't shoot me. Hey. I'm looking at you. But shooting you is fun. There's also something you need to be aware about these guys. They just love to die bomb. Good thing I got this cloak power up right now. On. Die already. This age is taking so long just because they don't die. If only that 100 health will come right now. I would really need that. Well, at least there's some. Um... Oh no, you're going after it, aren't you? Urgh. Missile. Death. Win. Did you get it? Yep, I won. And roll for his to dance. Oy, that was a close one. Remember the moral of this stage, kids. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> <laughs> they were never on drugs, they're only on radiation. Radiation is the drug of monsters. But anyways, I went to the next stage. Which stage is this one? Battle for Atomic Island. Already at our second boss fight. It's weird, you know. You have a boss fight, then you have. I guess so. It's like so. It's every like three stages is a boss fight. Yep. Now for this stage, welcome to Glowing Island. Yeah, for this stage, your focus is not to destroy all the kineticlops that are attacking you. It's to destroy all the power plant silos. Pretty much. Ironically, though, you're made of technology, so that's pretty much be the death view. I did the wrong move. 
Hello? Also, also, there's, also, there's a way to be very cheap in this level if you're doing multiplayer. There's this big button that you find. If you can, like, knock some of your opponents into the center area, and then you hit the button, the core will bend, and it will suck away their health like that. I just did that right now. I wonder how stupid they'll be. Oh, and those fences, you gotta be careful with those too. Get out of here! Yeah, yeah, don't bother attack- I'm not telling- I'm not telling this, I'm just saying this to the people who have played the game Don't bother attacking the Kinetic Cross, because even if you knock them out, as long as the silos are up, they'll just keep coming endlessly. Uh, the beating one and will lower the att their attack a little. Oh, yeah, and those silos. They, they can somehow conduct electricity, so we need to be careful of that. No, it's not gonna hurt much. Bosses all it'll, all it'll mostly do is just knock you away. Boss is what I'm mostly worried about. I just touched a freaking silo. Which is weird, since you made of electricity, you think that would power you up? Not that since, you, not since you're since you're a robot, I mean not since you're a robot. yeah. Don't you're, shock you're me, why don't you? Yeah, that, that, yeah, you're robot 47, not kinetic clubs. I'm almost there. Don't shock me now! Oh, stop. Oh, while well, you're on top of that. Can you do me a favor? Oh, and the core meltdown. Oh, you're there, you gotta just get yourself some Yeah, you got, yeah, yeah, you got, yeah, for this you gotta, ex you gotta escape within the 10 seconds, otherwise it's game over. <laughs> oh, game over right now. Now you're in hell. <laughs> you gotta fight your way out. Yes, I gotta fight my way out of hell by fighting. A three-headed plant hydro thing. Whose name is... Egon. This boss is a reference to, uh, Violante. Now, for this boss fight, it's actually pretty boring, actually. It's, we got it, It's boring, and it's tedious. Which is one reason why I picked Roll 47 for this, because the missiles abs just absolutely burn these things if you can hit them. And these things right now, they're using Vine Whip. Yeah, we're gonna see how long. This fight is. This fight is so long and so tedious that I might do a speed up for this fight. No, it depends on the mood. What song would you use for it? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I like to defeat him on the heads. No, I actually. Oh, I, I, oh, I know the song you use. Use. I know that's from Mario, but oh yeah, that's from Mario World credits. Oh hey, you're back. Can I throw this rock at you, please? Oh, I spit acid at me if I don't you. You know, it's fine to call it. You know, I'm really dead that desperate to call this thing Vegeta. Vegeta? <laughs> As you know, it, it kind of has a veggie in it. Yeah. But yeah, more tedious stuff. This is all you really gotta do for this boss fight. So if, you're if, if, if you're talented, if you're skilled enough, you actually can run over in the center, but you gotta go very quickly, because otherwise he'll knock you like off for a loop. You also gotta remember these patterns, otherwise um, you won't be able to throw the rock at them. Speaking of these rocks, there's so many rocks everywhere. I never even knew there were rocks in hell. No electricity. Why don't why don't you whip? Why are you even they whipping me anyway? I'm a freaking robot. Because it causes damage. Oh yeah, it depends on how, how hard those lines are. Screw this rock, I'm throwing a missile. And if I miss, I at least get to show one of the attacks my arms actually get eaten. Wait. Defeated by a missile. I've never actually been able to hit him with the uh, 
special attacks. Even even the missile, I've, I've always tried and it never worked. Missile is pretty much a one hit KO for a, uh, for a head. But anyway, since that was a boss and we're done with that boss, um, I'm gonna call this apart. So, see you guys next time. So long. <laughs>